and welcome to Home Diary. I'm going to take the pruners and I'm going to go through the garden and I'm going to get some food for the neighbors. So we have some apple mint and some basil and then I put together some peach uh, dressing and a whole bunch of lettuce, some cucumbers, some squash. And this is just a way of uh, saying thanks to the neighbors. They looked after the place a couple of times when we were gone. And, um, as we can keep them in good graces with us and we're much better off. So, um, that's what I brought, so I gave him some calendula, which is these orange flowers. You probably have seen me describe them before. Calendula is really good to put in oil and have calendula oil mixed with like comfrey and uh, beeswax and all that other stuff. Come on in, Winter. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. See, because of the sun? Yes. Is it super bright out here? Boy. Hot days in Missouri, that's for sure. So, what do we like? Uh, what do we like? Huh? Definitely some lettuce. Can't really see, huh? We're getting ready to go to their house right now, so we try to make it as fresh as possible. Taking the lower leaves. Um, some of the lower leaves are, you know, wilted or have touched the ground. And so we'll pull those off. I have been washing things for them, like the leaves, but I think that it's making them uh, go bad quicker, maybe. And um, since we have more and more lettuce, if they wash them themselves and use them as they need them, they might last a little bit longer. So we're going to keep these um, as fresh as possible. We're doing pretty good getting a whole bunch of lettuce off of the vines. And of course, you can see. Uh, from the video that there's lots of them bolting. Now, that is on purpose because I really want a lot of seeds. You know, I, I'm having a hard time you know, eating all this lettuce anyways, so I really would actually prefer the seeds, and so we're actually collecting as many seeds as we can. So, going through and clipping some of these. Let's go show them the um, apple mint, okay? Okay. Yay. Because I can clip off these... Uh, these lettuces for the neighbor at the strawberries are doing really well here on this side. Um, Ozarkian strawberries, early, early producers. The corn is in. It's actually doing pretty good. Let's see about, I heard that corn doesn't like to be transplanted uh, once it comes up or whatever. So we'll have to see how that goes. We have lots of squash in here and stuff, but um, it's looking like the the um, Cucumber. cabbage is, is wilting, like too much sun. I have to put like a shade cloth across it or something. We do water them quite a bit, but maybe it, they need more water. I'll have to figure out what's going on with that. I am an early gardener, like just, uh, I've gardened before, but not necessarily know everything. So I am a part of a lot of other groups where I'm learning. So I have to actually uh, put up our tomatoes on strings and all that stuff. So we have a lot to do, but one step at a time. So let's go over to the apple. There's a cucumber too. There's some good stuff coming out. Bless the Lord, thank you God. So just, couple hopefully of the tops maybe they'll uh, branch out add this to their already existing bag the bag has dried apple I mean yeah apple mint in it so maybe this will be a fresh set to make teas and stuff now it's mixed in with our peppers, and so hopefully it will continue to be happy and then it will take over this whole bed eventually, the mint. That's what mint does, it tends to just take things over. Now I'm cutting it below um, a leaf that, that is compound, it, it basically separates, and so you don't want to take off all the tops. But definitely you can cut back quite a bit. And just like with the basil, it will branch out 
and make a couple more branches and it will make it thicker. So, might be able to cut. Let me see. There's one more down here. So this is actually one that branched out at the very bottom and I might be able to transplant, but I'll just cut the top off of this. There we go. And that's a bunch of apple mint. There's a couple more over here. We might keep some of this and make some tea with it too. So most of that got taken, but that's okay. There's a couple more heads that are bushy. I wonder how the chocolate mint is doing. I haven't looked at that for a little while. Now it's definitely hidden in the tomatoes. Cucumber! Cucumber. And... So, um, I like to make sure that, um, I like to make sure that the, uh, mints are in a container, but I also know that a lot of times these aren't going to take over an area this season. And so I used, uh, the peppers and the tomatoes as a way of utilizing the space of the mint without, um, without, uh, having them be by themselves. So you can see this one right here is a chocolate mint. I can weed the other things out of the garden that don't need to be here. But then being careful to not accidentally, this one's another chocolate mint, to not accidentally weed the chocolate mint. mint. So, we have this one, this one, and then this one in the corner over here. Yay! Oh, shadow. So that's that one. So I can take some of these too. Not a whole lot. These ones don't look as vivacious or whatever as the other ones. So let's see if we can take just a little bit of this chocolate mint. Hi, sweetheart. Where do you want me? Maybe there? Okay. Sometimes I'll ask. Oh, is that hot? Yeah, the metal is kind of hot on this side. So chocolate and apple mint, okay? And so that one looks actually kind of bushy at the bottom, which is good. So I'll just take a couple of these little sprigs. Hopefully it will make it stronger. I feel like I sometimes am a bonsai cutter where you gotta cut things very particularly where you're not taking too much of the plant, but you're taking a little bit off in order to utilize it and maybe even strengthen it because in nature how it it nibbles you know things nibble on it and then they grow stronger because their you know systems say oh my word there's a, a pest or you know we got to put out you know more and we got to be stronger and harder and I actually heard one of the gardeners that I've been listening to say something about mixing aspirin um, with water and spraying it on the the plants and that uh, simulates uh, bugs and so then your plants actually think that they're kind of under attack but it also keeps the bugs away and it also doesn't hurt the the soil or the plant and so it's just different methods there used by different um, gardeners so I think that that's pretty good I think we're ready to go to the neighbors now we don't have a lot of other things to offer right now the garden is just starting out and it's June, so it's understandable. So we hope that you have a blessed day and that you'll get lots out of your garden sometime.